I'd like to start with a deceptively simple question. What are data? What, what does this word data mean? It's remarkable when you think about how ubiquitous that word is in our everyday lives. It comes up often in conversations. It comes up in articles that you read online. You, you read about it in the news. There's going to be TV shows and movies that talk about data. Politicians are talking about data. Companies are talking about data. Almost every website you go to has to ask you about your data, your personal data. But what does this word data even mean? If you'd like to take a moment and think about what you think the word data means, feel free to pause the video if you want some more time. I actually spent some time looking around online trying to find a definition, and I couldn't find one that I was really satisfied with. There are many different definitions, surprisingly many different definitions, and I felt that all of them were a little bit problematic. So I decided to try one, a, a definition for myself, and I'm not claiming that this is you know, the definition that we should all use indefinitely, but this one I think balances some simplicity with also some generality. So I say that data are the output of measurement devices. Now that's coming from my kind of uh, bias as a, uh, a scientist, a data scientist, statistician. The thing is, you want, you know, curious people want to know how the world works. We want to know how nature works, how biology works, how the brain works, how other people work, how computers work, all sorts of things. But we cannot just know these things directly. Instead, we need to measure them somehow. Now, these measurement devices are our ways of interfacing with nature. So we have a measurement device and we use it and nature gives us back the output of the measurement device and that's what we call it data. Now, these measurement devices can be really fancy, really sophisticated and complicated, like an MRI machine or a super collider, or they can be really simple, like a questionnaire or you know a form that you have to fill out online, or even just you. If you want to know how someone feels about chocolate ice cream, you just go up to and ask them how they feel about chocolate ice cream. So then you are the measurement device. And the thing that you're measuring, which is someone's preference, that is your data. That's a little bit of data. Now, data are not homogenous. There's different types of data. Very broadly speaking, we group uh, data into categories. And the two main categories are numerical, and that means that these are all numbers, the way that we think of numbers, and I'll give examples in a moment, and categorical. And categorical data are labels. So within these two categories, there are also several different types, and this is not an exhaustive list, but you don't have to worry too much about these types. I, I, I do think it's important for you to understand these two broad categories of data. So just a few quick examples to make sure it's clear. So some numerical types of data include temperature in Celsius, we attach numbers to these, your height in centimeters or inches, you know, or plank length, we attach numbers to these. The population, that could be, you know, the population of Sweden, or it could be the number of people living in your house. So these are all kinds of data that we attach specific numbers to, and those numbers are meaningful, they are intrinsic. And then we have categorical data, which sometimes we can assign numbers to them, but the numbers are just more convenient. They're, they're not really intrinsic to the, the thing itself. So for example, we have your level of education. Now let's say you know we can have high school and bachelor's and PhD. Now those are three different levels. We could assign numbers to them, like high school is one, bachelor's is two, and PhD is three but you can't use them as numbers the way you would use numbers here. So one high school plus one uni uh, bachelor's degree does not equal a PhD in the same way that you can add one centimeter and two centimeters and get three centimeters. Uh, so, so you can see sometimes you can attach numbers to these, but these are not really numeric data. Uh, another example would be movie genre. So, you know, there's sci-fi, romantic comedy, documentaries. There's many different types of um, movie genres, these are all data, these are categorical data, so we cannot really assign meaningful numbers to them. Okay, again, so you can just focus on these two categories of data, and don't worry so much about the finer distinctions here. 
Now, why does it matter? Why is it important to know what type of data we're working with? Well, some kinds of statistical analyses can be applied only on certain types of data. So if you have numeric data, then you can only do certain kinds of data visualization and certain kinds of statistical analyses, and different kinds of analyses and visualization methods are not going to be appropriate for numerical data.